Getting ready. It's a great time to have a good night, don't you think? Well, just like the song says, here we go. How are you feeling tonight, White Bear, Texas? Oh, 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 kill the music, kill the music. Hold on, that ain't gonna be good enough. Listen, we're not in Pampa, we're in White Deer, okay? We're not in Amarillo, we're in White Deer. So let me tell you this, there are contestants from all over the U.S. There are people that have been taken off work to bring you your rodeo. So I'm going to ask you, on the count of three, to make them all feel as welcome as you possibly can. Are you ready? One, two, three. That's how you get it started tonight. That's how you get it rocking. And the best way to get it going tonight is for me to welcome in my friends that are going to set our pivots tonight. It's a great tradition of rodeo as we get set with our friends at Sand and Sage to bring in your pivots for our world famous grand entry. Now ladies and gentlemen, these folks have been coming to you for a lot of years. How about you welcome them in the right way tonight? The grand entry is a long standing tradition of the sport of rodeo. I'm going to tell you something tonight, that your rodeo is still alive and well when you know that you have a grand entry in your rodeo. Friends, it's a great tradition a lot of people are trying to take out, but here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Here in just a moment, when you see those contestants come by, you see those family members come by, those friends, be sure to wave at them. Be sure to take their picture. Be sure to thank them for bringing in that great tradition once again right here into your town. Folks, the Sand and Sage gets settled tonight. Would you pay them off real quick for me? And would you officially bring it on in the right way? Ladies, would you lead it in the right way? It is your White Deer Texas UPRA Rodeo Grand Entry that comes your way. Folks, I want you to know, I appreciate you standing. Go ahead and put your hat back on if you'd like and enjoy the rest of the grand entry. Once that flag passes you by tonight, we're going to want you to keep your energy strong. So go ahead and have a seat if she's already passed by you. The reason why is we've got a lot of folks that we want you to see tonight. We'll ask you to stand again after we post the color during our colors. Taylor Miller Insurance is helping us out as one of our great sponsors this year. And a big thank you to Carson County Jim. Atterbury Grain that's in the house and our friends at TJ Trucking. A big thank you to K&K Incorporated that's in the house and Wayne's Western Wear. You know, all across our arena, you're going to see some great sponsors been helping us out, like our friends at Plaska and Cool Horse that's with us tonight. West Texas Ag Crop Insurance is with you. And a big thank you to those folks. You know, Pattern Energy and Clinton Sons helped us out with a barbecue. And tonight, following our rodeo, they're going to bring you to our dance. It's a world famous dance. A lot of people like to be there. We'd love for you to be part of it. You're more than welcome to have a seat if you'd like. We're going to ask you to stand here in just a little bit. And the reason why is, well, you'll find out why. I appreciate you doing that. You can always tell you're in the great state of Texas when you don't have to ask for it, I guarantee you. You don't know how much that means to us here tonight. And I tell you what, friends, this is what rodeo is all about. The great tradition that comes around to you tonight. I don't know if you know it, but your rodeo tonight is one of the big rodeos of the UPRA, the United Professional Rodeo Association. The 
United Professional Rodeo Association sanctions well over 300 rodeos on a nationwide basis. Ladies and gentlemen, with your help, we have been able to pay out over $5.5 million on a nationwide basis. Now, folks, that's because of you and all of those sponsors that have been helping us out. You are part of a big family. I don't know if you know it, and we sure hope that you are glad to be part of that big family of the UPRA. As they exit out tonight, how about once again our friends at Sand and Sage tonight, huh? about this friends even some of our little ones are out there with us tonight that's a great tradition is anytime you can bring them into the sport of rodeo we're glad they're mounted up pay them off again will you <laughs> ladies and gentlemen the reason I told you to stay seated it's because there's some people I need to introduce to you tonight. Before we post those colors, there's people that deserve to stand up before you and I even think about it. Who are we talking about? The heroes of America. Ladies and gentlemen around us tonight, I don't know if you know it, but we're sitting next to legends, to heroes. And here's who it is. If you've ever served this great country in any branch of military, would you stand up for me right now? If you're currently serving this great country, would you stand up for me right now? Do you see why I wanted you to stay seated? Because I wanted to tell you that these people right here are heroes. Now, no matter what, no matter what you support, you know that these people right here put their life on the line for us. How about it right here? If you're proud of them, I want you to tell them that you're proud of them tonight. Can you do that for me? The reason I introduced those folks is because of this. Ladies, I want you to come up that alley and I want you to show White Deer and you folks, show our next generation what we do. When we post those colors, the most beautiful part of rodeo comes to you. How about you show that patriotism to us tonight? Ladies, show them the colors. We've looked in the Constitution, we've looked in the Bill of Rights, we've looked everywhere. It's not even in the city code. It doesn't say anywhere that when the American flag enters the arena that you've got to be quiet. If you love old glory the way that I do, go ahead and lay it on them. You don't have to be shy one bit tonight. Now you can stand if you like, you can have a seat if you like, but we're going to introduce some of our great folks that bring you our rodeo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our White Deer Riding Club officers. Now they're all around our arena tonight. Would you help me welcome first off our arena director down below, Mr. Jimmy King, that's with us. Our treasurer, we say hello to Justin Freeman. Our secretary of the rodeo, Rick Armstrong. Vice President, we welcome Drew Hodges. And the birthday boy himself, the president of your rodeo, help me welcome Mr. Carl Vigil. <laughs> By the way, that 60 years on the back of his shirt is an anniversary. It's not his birthday. I'm just letting you know, okay? So, but it, it, it's, you're not 60, you're 21, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, sorry. So ladies and gentlemen, I also want to introduce to you right now, she just got crowned as your brand new Miss White Deer Riding Club. Help me welcome Miss Margaret Smith tonight, will you? This young lady 
has the opportunity to bring a national title down here to you tonight. She goes to represent your rodeo all over the state of Texas. We're glad to have our royalty with us tonight. You know, we were talking about those servicemen and women, those veterans, of what they've done for us. And every time I think about that, I think about the thing that I get to do before each performance of a rodeo. That's to go to our Lord and Savior in a word of prayer. Now, you don't have to stand if you don't want to. You don't have to stand in here if you don't want to. But it's our freedom to talk to Jesus right now. Our dearest, most gracious, heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Dear Lord, we pause mindful of all that undeserved gift of grace that you send down to us. Dear Lord, I don't know if you realize how much we appreciate those servicemen and women that have put their lives on the line. We also know, dear Lord, that there's only two people that has ever died for us. This American soldier and your son, Jesus Christ. What we ask tonight is that you protect us, you guide us, you lead us, and that you remind us every day that we need to live our life worthy of your son, Jesus Christ's life on that dreadful cross. Tonight, dear Lord, we're going to say these words and so proud to say them tonight right near Texas. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Don't ever be shy to clap for the prayer. I'll tell you that right now. Hey, I got a beautiful voice that's coming to you. And I tell you what, this young lady is going to bring you the most beautiful song in the world. Now, Macy Cochran is going to sing our national anthem. And what I'm going to invite you to do is to sing along with her and show our next generation that we're not at other sports, we're at rodeo. So we stand in attention, take our hats off, and put our hand over our heart. It is our national anthem. Oh, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last green Who's brought stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glow, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? You know what? They may know they call it right near Texas, but right now it's a cowboy town. No, I got a question. I know I've been asking a lot of questions. We had not even got started. Who's ready for a little rodeo on a Friday night, huh? 